please help me remember the question. Uh, is that a neutral term? Yes, it is that we would be a neutral term, and that I'm arguing, and this relates to your question, that Switzerland was subnationally sovereign when they first made the move to become the nation of negotiation center. Eventually, they did move to become fully sovereign, but that's not how they started, and that's not when they made the initial sales pitch to Europe. So, they were subnationally sovereign when they asked Europe to engage in a business like this, and it worked. Later on, they took on a military dollar, but that was not the initial organization when they moved into this economy. So I'm saying that because the Swiss did it, and it worked, we can also do it. And then I also point out Turkey basically is a modern example of Switzerland, where you have a country that everyone knows is owned by America. And you have a region of the world that has the absolute least amount of trust of America in the Arab world. And yet they trust Turkey as a neutral arbiter. They trust the quote unquote puppet of America as a neutral arbiter, because Turkey said a couple things to America like, we're not going to let you use our land to invade Iraq. We'll still take your $50 billion in military, we'll still have military joint exercises, we'll still have all our officers trained in American schools, but because of that one stand up to America, now they're seen as neutral. So I think there's enough evidence to show that it's plausible that California could make the same. I'm not saying, obviously, that the world would make that, but I think there's enough argument to show that they could happen. Um, let me uh, answer this question. Um, as far as taking, as I understand it, uh, the dollar and military would stay intact. All of the policy decisions would return to Sacramento. The reason that California could handle that is that for every single office that there is a federal agency, there is a state agency already right now. Typically, the California federal agency regulations are see the federal regulations. So, in a lot of areas, California is leading the federal government in how to provide regulation for us, not the other way around. And this has gone on since the 1960s. That's a bigger Well, right. Well, so what's going to happen here on a federal program where I'm getting social security, Medicare, Medicaid, it would be special. It's still right. The California. Because we. Because we got to the policy for your business. And because we need to have enough room to make our economy and people shift it over to provide this service. And we would need the freedom of all the policy options that come with everything but the military. Then you go maybe on the neutral service. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're like re engineering a lot of stuff. It's not just a common thing. But isn't it true that uh, it, it, it is? And part of the mechanism that would allow us to do that would be having a policy for But the goal is still to become a neutral negotiation center for the world because the French Canadian would be able to do that. A lot of the dollars that come would be from free enterprises. Yes, I guess the entire middle part of this, I wouldn't agree with it all. California has a best track record of managing money. Yeah, you know, well, documented in the book. Up until maybe 2007. Uh, yeah. Well, what, what years does it say in there? Yeah, it's all free. It's the Okay. Yeah, right. We got a... Uh, our, our government has no miracle workers. So I can tell you. Well, so I wouldn't hold that up as an advantage. In fact, I would say, if you don't change your government radically, why in the world is any company coming here and incorporating farmers? Right, and then, and I've gotten this question a lot. Um, to feed in this question to your question, um, A, if we pursued this, half the taxes would be gone and half the bureaucracy. So, okay, so uh, shotgun answer, real quick, um, goes into detail in the book. First, you stop paying federal taxes for things you never need services for. That's about one state budget, or the equivalent of one your state income taxes. So you, well, because if, if we're subnational sovereign, we would have paid for these services for the military and dollar, which is most of the non-federal taxes go for. So we would stop paying A, the extra federal taxes that we pay for, which is the equivalent to one state budget. And B, all the services that the federal government normally provides would be done here in the state. And the law of physics. I'm sure you've heard this as libertarians. Government governs best closest to the people, closest to the source. So, I'm on Medicare. 